Yo, what's up guys? I'm sure you saw the video of Ryan and Noah showing you their closet and their clothes they got. So today it's my turn. Rob's closet tour. Mine's probably not gonna be as cool as theirs, but I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what I have, what I rock a lot, maybe where I got some of my stuff. I don't know, you guys seem interested in this stuff, so let's do it. Off the bat, what's up Meryl Twins? Meryl Twins, you know, big show right there. We got a hamper, we'll get this out the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> These are my dirty clothes. There's probably some cool stuff in here, but uh, I'll have to wash them. You'll probably see them in another video. We'll just start with the clothing items. A lot of my stuff is actually thrifted, like thrift store i just really been into thrifting like for years since i was like probably high school or something i'm obviously not gonna go through all this stuff but i'll show you some of my favorite things keith herring i'm just a big keith herring fan whenever i see keith herring in the stores i'm just like okay i gotta get that actually another keith oh, herring man. i recently got this pretty cool hoodie i like to keep it simple just black white i got some color sprinkled in i've never seen you wear that i wore this in my uh no sweat music video oh. actually but it's different because there's like four different hawaiian shirts stitched together oh one of one one of one so not a lot of people have that. Just thrift store stuff. The reason why I like the thrift store is because you could find clothes that nobody has. You can go out and see somebody like, oh, I, I seen that at Zoomies or Paxson. Or it's some vintage stuff. Or it's some vintage, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's basic stuff like that. Thrift store, but this is like a cool brand still. Another one. Another Keith Haring. Let me see, what's some of my favorite items here? One of one, I made this at Complex Con. This is actually a Rob Life hat. So this is what I do to like a lot of my clothes is I cut the bottom of all my shirt to give it that frail like Rob edges but i keep the bottoms and i use them as like belt so i have them like here what the like heck that's this shirt right here i've never seen this before i use these as my belt so no one knows about that but hey that's cool this is my yellow shirt my other <laughs> shirt my black shirt but now they're belts so i never run out of belts. i wore this in the no sweat video as well i got this at the thrift store it's just like unique like you don't find stuff like this and they just fit different and feel different wow wow, wow. a lot of cute herring stuff. that is crazy here's a actually a meaningful one here these two pieces right here, I got in Japan. Whoa. So this is like a jean jacket, like kimono vibe. Well, let me try it on just because Yeah. not a lot of see. people like see people rocking these, but I used to wear this all the time. With a hoodie underneath, it's kind of fire. Whoa. So it just gives you that like culture vibe. What is that right there? The brand is called N Sons. I got it in Japan too. Same thing. This was actually on the map. How much are these? Are these expensive? I remember this was kind of expensive, like $300 oh, okay. uh, US dollars. Me and my friend were walking down trying to get some new clothes and this was on the mannequin in the front and I was like, wait a minute, that's kind of hard and i went to ask the guy and he was like yeah that's the only one left oh. and i was like okay wait can i try it on and it fit perfectly i was like, i have to get wow. it it's just one of those things now in japan do you use u.s currency or go to a bank and get japanese money the japanese currency is yen it's a very touristy place u.s dollars is pretty common there i went with the yen because it was more special i was like oh yeah. i want to like feel like you're part yeah, of it yeah exactly supreme hoodie that ryan gifted me because it was too small for him so <laughs> shout out to ryan yeah i haven't worn it worn it yet give it away okay who wants it <laughs> <laughs> Follow like, Rob Lopez. I'm actually wearing di another Disneyland Whoa. shirt, but here's another Disney piece of hat. I personally think this is hard. And here's the thing. I didn't think this was cool like when I got it. It was just really cold at Disneyland. And I was like, I went to the little kiosk. It was like, ah, give me that one. So I started wearing it. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Any compliments? Yeah, a lot of people compliment me on this. What I like about Disneyland merch is that the quality on this stuff is good. This wow. Disneyland shirt, it's kind of hard. Another shirt I wore in the No Sweat video. Miller, vintage vibes. A lot of just basic black. Oversized. This one's cool because it's like inside out i like this brand a lot it's called uh minimal oh yes i've definitely shot there yeah they minimal. have all these cool like inside out black plain oversized type tees the sweats i wear all the time which are right here are minimal too i wear these almost every day yeah those are cool and comfortable more vintage uh, vintage vintage it's cool because you just don't see people wear that type of stuff mm -hmm. shout out alan texas <gasps> alan eagle i like this because every time i look at this i think about that time when we went to alan texas i was like wow that was such a cool time so it's like a little memory so this right here Ooh. hold on this is probably my most expensive piece of clothing i bought which is this balenciaga jacket oh. right here jean jacket perfect fit has the balenciaga how much did that cost this was like twelve hundred dollars that was like the jacket. time when we were all spending too much at the store right but you know why i, I bought this was because this is gonna last me forever mm. i can pass this down to my kids this is a symbol of when i first moved to la i like having it for that reason so this is cool to have some outerwear jacket stuff you know? which outfit was it where you got left to the club i'll show you guys <laughs> <laughs> this is, so this is the outfit I wore when I got left at the club. It was actually this black shirt, this one right here. And I was wearing just these black 
like dicky kind of pants these shoes here's a funny part about that story and i didn't say it in the other video when she got out the car when she came here bro she was wearing the same exact thing all black did you tell her and checkered boots i was like wait wait a minute why is this kind of cute is like everything was perfect and then she left me the clothes so that's pretty much for the clothes then we moved down this is all the pants i got i hardly wear any of them especially now because we don't go anywhere anymore because we're on lockdown but these are pants that i hardly wear i like these corduroy ones which are probably my favorite pair of pants these are g star and noah boat actually got me into the, the g star, star pants the Whoa. g star fit differently these i like wearing them just because they go with everything pretty much i'll just throw these over here for now <laughs> i got another pair of g star actually right here gray Ooh. little whitewash other blue jean vibe i like to just cut the bottom of my stuff too i don't know why I just, you cut the pants too yeah i cut the pants what do you too. do with those make a watch <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I make uh, wristbands with them. <laughs> it just adds character when you do stuff like this. That is true. So I like doing stuff like that. These are actually cool one of one pants that I also wore in one oh, of my music yeah. videos. This. What the heck? These like are just hair. crazy. These are loud. One of one. You ain't gonna find these anywhere. Louis V. Yeah. You know, is that a purse? Is that a wallet? I don't know what that is. Custom. That's what that is. No, I don't have a lot of expensive things. I just kind of have a lot of things that I personally just like to wear. Like these camo pants I thought were cool. So I got those. Pretty much it, nothing crazy. Down below, I got my socks and you know, my underwear. Don't look in there. Um, here is just like shirts I can lounge about in or work out in or just sleep in, just Hanes like shirt. I also just wear these two on a daily. Basic stuff that doesn't deserve to be hung up. Same here, just like shorts and sweats. These are actually some cool shorts. Uh... Oh. You got me these, I think. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. We got those for you. Keith Man. Herring shorts to go with, you know, all the Keith Herring stuff. I also got a Keith Herring tat, it's right here. Keith, if you're watching this, sponsor him. He's dead, but it's fine. Then we have just a bag full of blankets and whatnot. Then we come over here. Uh, this is where shoes. my shoes are at. I'm not too much of like a sneaker head or whatever. I just kind of get shoes that I look cool to me. We can start here at the top. Big fan of Converse CDGs or just Converse in general. I really like these and I really like the fit of these ones. These are Converse 70, I believe, which mm. give you that old school thick here. So it's thicker than the classics. They just fit cooler to me. I like that. Since yes. you're a dancer, are there specific shoes that help you dance better? In. you can really dance in anything to be honest this is probably would be bad to dance in only because there's just clunky and heavy but people still dance in them you can really pretty much dance in anything so i got the same cdgs in black as well you got the balenciaga what are oh, these called speed runners yeah so i haven't even really worn these yet these were a gift my cousin actually gave these to me whoa because they didn't fit them anymore these i found at the thrift store 15 dollars, and they go for more and they're clean brand new off white same converse 70 thick these are are cool and these were also gifted to me what the by ryan i think it was a birthday gift for Let's me guys. Real quick. yeah wait a minute you got me these right yeah was it those ones or the clear ones i think they're these it was awesome, yeah. see i told you all right back to thank you noah how do you think his closet tour compared to mine in terms of explanation not that good i don't have that much stuff like you so <laughs> he showed us how pretty words at the club where he got left at so which was that wait i don't even know it was just the all black fit with the converse remember she was wearing the same exact thing mm -hmm. and i was like oh wow we're meant for each other mm. These ones right here were my dream pair of shoes. I wanted these so bad. Whoa. And these were actually gifted to me too. Friend Demi and Trevor got these for me. Shout out to them. Yeah, I don't really spend a lot of money on clothes, to be honest. Actually, I, I spent money. No, these are gifted to me too. You know how expensive these are? Yeah. This was a Christmas gift for my family. So. <laughs> these are probably one of my favorite pair of shoes though. This is when we first moved to LA, I bought these. These are the Turbo Green Jordan 1. See, Rob wears his shoes. See, here's the thing with the shoes. Every time I wear shoes, I'm like, you're greasing the shoes. Same thing with my car. It's like, if I get little ding on it it's still gonna drive i like the way they look and i think it gives a character when there's like wear to it i wear my shoes so these are actually really cool golden goose everyone flames me every time i wear these they think there's some knockoff jordan ones or something uncultured wow. these are golden goose come on designer but it's whatever what about the slides you're wearing right now too oh people ask me about these all the time see people also flame me on these a lot of flames <laughs> those are hard though everything's hard people reject but they don't understand because they only see the Supreme and they only see the Nike slides and then this. Right. When they see something different, they're like, what's that? These are suey coats. After you break them in, oh my gosh. Mm. Feels like your, your feet are being hugged by just comfort. Yeah, but those are dope. I like those. like these shoes a lot. These are probably my favorite shoe. Like silhouettes is the Jordan 1s. Ooh, I like these. I could wear these with short pants. Anything, to be honest. Dress them up, dress them down. These are the Air Force 1s that I bought that are too big for me, but I 
still wear them. Rob doesn't have an actual pair of Air Force Ones that fits him. No, because to you know this why? day, you do you know why? No. Every time I go to the store, they never have my size. <laughs> Ever. Everywhere they're always sold out. It's always the most popular. What size thing. do you need? This is a nine. And these I'm like a eight, eight and a half. Is there anybody watching this that owns a size eight, eight and, and a half? half and these uh, do not want them. Rob is PayPal ready. These are actually really cool. I like these a lot. These are by company designer Rude. Just a different shoe. You don't really see this too often. Has like a classic silhouette. See the texture here? And then the different texture there. What Rude. R-H-U-D-E right there. Look at that. Then we go here. Big Vans fan. Um, I've always been wearing Vans. I had these probably for years. I just beat those up. Got the running shoes. Gotta keep the Asics on deck, baby. <laughs> Ryan's favorite. Functionality. See this? See how fast they move? Aerodynamic. Wait, do that again? That was kind of crazy how they move through the wind like that. Yeah, that's like my feet on the track. These I don't wear. Yeezys, who wants them? <laughs> <laughs> I got a cool off-white belt that I got on Depop. Some kid was like selling it for cheap and he probably was trying to get rid of it, but it's real. Bro, this belt's long, look at this. But it's cool though because it's different, you know. That's what I thrive off of. It's things that are unique, you know. Bro, this belt's too big for you. And then if you look up here, I kept some of the shoe boxes for like aesthetic reasons, you know. Because some of the boxes are cool. Got a pillow. Just have a pillow. And then these are some props that I use for my videos. Ooh. I'm a big fan of headwear. So I got hats and stuff. I beat these up though. Look how dirty they are. What brand is that? This is actually a Brixton hat. And I just mm. put a patch over it just because I didn't really like the logo. But I like the fit of it. Kane's hat that my friend Moody made. Has my name Whoa. on it. Pretty dope. Custom, one of one. Just other little hats and stuff like that. Uh, beanies, big beanie guy. Here's a hat with no bill. What y'all even know about that? Nothing. Whatever. Um, I want to talk about some of the stuff that I wear the most. Some of the stuff that I don't wear at all. Some of my go-to outfits. And with me, it's kind of like random, to be honest. Every day, I'll wake up and just look in here and be like, eh, I'll wear this today. My go-to for just like a lounge day, comfortable pair of shorts like this, breathable. I got this from, I think, Walmart. I don't even know what brand that is. <laughs> it's probably Walmart or Marshalls or something. And I'll throw on just like a loose shirt, like a long sleeve. I'm a big fan of crew neck. Just like that, just toss it on and just chill out. That's a vibe right there. If I'm going out, I do the simple black pants. Where I got these pants right here that are pretty cool. This is also from Minimal. Just some black pants. Bro, just a shirt like this. It's also for minimal. It's not sponsored. <laughs> I just went all out on minimal one day. That, the black. Sample. I like the all black though, low key. That's something I would wear. Simple though. And if not, I'd throw on like a shirt like this. I'm a big fan of shorts too. Yeah, I like these shorts a lot. They're just like corduroy, like summer vibes. Like there's some stuff in here I don't wear and there's some stuff that I wear a lot. And I probably need to do something like a spring cleaning and just kind of take the stuff that I don't wear and put some new stuff up there or just do something. How would you describe your style? Well, don't judge it off of this because I'm just lounging right now. <laughs> I think I would describe my style as very SoCal. You know, that's the thing I noticed about Rob. Back in the day, yeah. how would you describe my style? Rob got the Cali vibes fashion. Cause when we first met Rob, I was trying to steal his. What's up? Why? Can I play walk with this? Why? Why? I don't know. Is there, did someone send you here to say that? I might have been dead, but <laughs> I appreciate your friends when uh, come and send you here, but uh, I think you have to like wear a mask and stuff walking around. Okay. Yep. But um, yeah, thanks, man. Okay. <laughs> have a good one. Do people know where we live? What was that? I didn't even know what to say. Get the away from me. <laughs> but you can't say that to a kid. What did he say? Play rock and scissors? Rock and scissors. You don't play rock and scissors with me. Not even like a hey, hello, how, what's up, my name's this. I saw a little kid there. I said, the fuck? And then I opened it. Someone dare you to do this? Someone, I might have been dared. I was like, all right, well, I appreciate your friends coming to tell you to come mess with us. But appreciate you. Have a good one, dude. Whoa, what? <laughs> and I said, you should probably have your mask on. I think that's the rule. Get away from me. <laughs> like, what are you doing? What were we even saying? Robbie and SoCal. Robbie and SoCal. Did you show your jeans with the little cutoff joint at the ankle? Because I remember when Rob would visit us at the Orsini back in the olden days, what, three years ago now? Two years ago? You had checkered vans and you had like this jean jacket and all this stuff. And I was like, where did you get that? Like, I need that. So I went and got checkered vans. And basically I tried to be like Rob for like a few months and it didn't work. I think my style is very influenced by, I grew up dancing in the dance community. I think my style was pretty much influenced by that along with being where I lived and- It's very very apparent people from Cal 
Cali, LA, they have a certain style. Like the vans. It's nothing crazy, but it's like. And like the shorts. I've never seen that many pair of shorts in my life because it's cold where we're from. I'm just used to wearing shorts all the time. Trunks, board shorts. I just grew up on that and sandals, to be honest. Yeah, so I wear about like, I would say 30% of my stuff because recently I tried to go through my stuff and when I moved places from my old house, I left a lot of stuff there, gave a lot of stuff away just because I know I'm never going to wear this. I think I need to do another one of those because there's a lot of stuff I don't really wear. You know, in conclusion, I would just say wear what you want to wear. Try to be unique because no one's going to remember Jack was wearing the new Air Force Ones. And a... Nah, they're going to remember how you made them feel. And if they're like, oh, Jack was like, he wasn't afraid to just be himself and wear whatever. And he, that made him cool. Um, I think that's kind of the route I like to take is because I don't want to spend money on a lot of clothes sometimes. So I'm like, how can I make this look cool? What I already have, you know, kind of like make do with what you already have. And that's kind of like my vibe. You don't always need to bug your mom to get the newest thing or have the coolest thing because you could be cool in your own way. Pretty much my closet tour. We'll probably do an updated one next year or something, but uh, comment down below what your favorite thing of mine was so I can wear it more. <laughs>